Uh, I have a friend who um, sent a note out that said, hey, we have toilet paper, we have spaghetti sauce, we have something else. If you need those things, I'll set them outside our house and you can come and pick them up. Um, I love that. That's that awesome. pretty cool. And I think we can definitely do that as event planners. If there's things that we have that we know our suppliers, our friends in the industry need right now, um, let, let's do what we need to do. Hey, I'm Joe Mathis. And, and this is Todd Wade. Uh, the Joe and Todd Show, rumbledrum.com. Coming and, to you uh, from the rumbledrum.com studios. That's right. And, and this is our COVID-19 bonus podcast. So um, our goal is to, first of all, just kind of say that our our uh, thoughts and prayers are definitely with the event industry. A lot of our colleagues have really been hit hard, and um, and we know that that this is a crazy time for almost everybody in the event industry world. Whether you're an event planner, rentals, AV, hotels, um, it's all been hit hard. So we uh, we we don't take that lightly. <clears throat> um, our nonprofit friends, our corporate friends, everybody clients are, are all struggling. So I just preface it with that of we, we know that. So now what do we do? And I think that's what we're kind of coming together today is just to really think through what um, what's the next set of weeks need to look like for us and for our business and for what we're doing. And, and so first of all, I, I've, I've said it before on uh, Facebook, other places, you know, keep, Keep your uh, optimism there and keep dreaming about the future, what that looks like. Keep planning, um, doing what you can do with, uh, with current clients. You know, things are going to be in Christmas next year. Start trying to figure out what that needs to look like. Um, start imagining what the world's going to look like with, with a, different, uh, um, maybe a different take on things the next set of months. That could be kind of fun to, to think about. Just, you know, do we put... Uh, uh, are we going to replace shaking hands with fist bumps, that sort of thing? But I think more than all that, what I want to really focus on today is just how, as event planners, we can be reinventing ourselves even right now, and uh, and really thinking through what that looks like for you right now today. So first of all, I want to just really encourage you to um, reach out to your clients, check in with them. We, uh, it's been really fun to see people and other, some of our vendors do that in different ways. We got a note while I go from one of our vendors that said, this is what we're streaming online from our office. And they listed all the Netflix shows y'all. and everything that they're watching and liking. It's kind of cool. It's kind of fun. Uh, just a little note in the mail that was really different. Um, we've also had a lot of phone calls and emails just from vendors. And that's really cool to me. Uh, probably the people I have really totally have so much respect for are the restaurants who figured out how to, we have, we have friends, Joe, Joe Don Davidson, who owns Oklahoma Joe's. Uh, they figured out how to work with Cisco and sell products that are, that are difficult to get um, in grocery stores, how they can sell them through their restaurant supplies and kind of keep some of those supply chains going. I think that's extremely clever. The um, you know, delivery, delivery business, uh, a couple of restaurants in close to us who deliver now, they've taken their servers and put them in cars and and driving their food to places. I also think uh, we have some rental company friends who are now uh, doing deliveries and doing laundry and all kinds of stuff, pretty creative things. And uh, AV companies, of course, who are now trying to figure out how to do online events and uh, virtual stuff like that. So lots of creativity. And I I just want to say, you know, for Todd and I, we have, we've been extremely busy we are fortunate to have some clients who have really needed us through this time. And uh, it's caused us to kind of say, Hey, what, what are we willing to do? So we've done, uh, we put up signs, we've done all kinds of stuff that, that we may not normally be in our scope of work, but in this time has really been, been pretty amazing. Uh, We had a birthday party for one of our favorite clients that canceled this month. And we've tried to figure out how to do the whole thing by video. And it's kind of fun to, to what would normally be a you know inexpensive video just to kind of throw up on the wall during the party, it's now going to be the party. So 
uh, trying to really figure out how to do that well and, and have a lot of fun with that, I think is, is another thing. Um, I've also been amazed at the people who are making kits to go and to send. A, a, I saw the uh, uh, one of my favorite hairstylists in our community, his name is Michael Brothers. He does a lot of uh, luxury hair design in our community. And uh, I love today he posted on Facebook that he's going to be available to his clients to, uh, to send home in-home products. And uh, yeah, insinuation was it's probably going to be helping with hair extensions, probably going to be helping with coloring, some stuff like that, but some ways um, I'm guessing he's going to figure out how to do that via Skype or, or uh, a non- I can do it yourself, a hair coloring. Exactly. I've, uh, kind of a good <clears throat> yourself in your home, the sort of thing. So pretty clever. And I love that. I love, I salute his creativity. He's extremely creative businessman and, uh, I have so much respect for him. And, and I think, I think that's kind of what I'm saying to you as event planners is think of those sorts of things. You know, how can you do a party in a box? How can you, um, how can you help your clients do that? How can you help your clients create things that can be mailed or sent via email or sent, uh, to a closed, um, you know, Zoom call or whatever. Uh, how can you set that up? How can you still bring all that value to you, to your clients? And uh, of course, thinking outside the box. What are other things you can do for your clients? So, Todd, what are some of your ideas? What are your thoughts on on what event planners could be doing, or other businessmen, things that that are needed out there right now? I. Uh of course, uh, one of our teammates uh, was telling us about a, a neighborhood party that they did uh, where they sent out, I think there was like a luau or something, but everyone got a, a kit dropped off at their door and said, uh, see you tonight at 6.30 or whatever. And um, so it had like the lay and the, you know, the hat and the flowers. And um, so they all went out in their backyards and like talked over the fences or whatever at each other um, and had a neighborhood party. So. Um, I thought that was a pretty, pretty cool idea and you know, talking about delivering the boxes to people and um, still being able to do something together at a certain time and kind of have that community aspect of an event uh, just with social distancing incorporated to it. So I thought that was pretty cool. We, uh, we decided to send some gift cards to people this week. A couple of uh, people we'd been meaning to give a gift card to. And I learned you can do it all through Amazon and through text messages and emails and found we could even put our company logo in there. That was really cool to realize um, that's a creative thing I didn't even, I did not even think about because I'm kind of a card and letter and, and uh, oh. handing a gift card to somebody. The other thing I, I heard this week reading in some emails on the special event website was um, a lot of the event planners, you know, they work a lot with uh, kind of freelancers, people that are, um, you know, doing this kind of out of their, backyard or uh, garage office whatever um so they're they're pretty unstable as far as the business goes but um one Sometimes way to help them out too. uh one, yeah and one uh, way to help those people out is to say to commit to using them uh when events happen in in the fall or something you, know, you sign a contractor um you know, give them a commitment just to encourage them that this isn't all going away forever we're, we're still doing events. We're going to use you down the road. And that just helps them have a little bit of security and, and potentially uh, be able to get a loan. And, uh, you know, they know that business is going to come in. So that helps their business. So if, if that's something we can do as event planners um, for uh, smaller businesses, that's, that's something we need to do. I like that idea a lot. I got an email from a, a friend last night who, um, who wanted to know about setting up something for event planners, kind of that support worker fund and, and not event planners, but people in the event industry. He's actually uh, an artist. He does CAD drawings for one of the largest event companies in the nation. And uh, he's been furloughed, of course. And, and uh, I, we, we've been talking to other event planners, other people we know. And I think kind of, I hate to say this, my, my official stance almost is, let's kind of wait and see a little bit of what's needed take care of the people that really need to be taken care of. So if you, you know, check in with your friends and relatives, if there's things you can do, uh, I have a friend who um, sent a note out that said, Hey, we have toilet paper. We have spaghetti sauce. We have something else. If you need those things, I'll set them outside our house and you can come and pick them up. 
Um, I love that. That's that, that awesome. was pretty cool. And I think we can definitely do that as event planners. If there's things that we have that we know our suppliers, our friends in the industry need right now, um, let, let's do what we need to do. But so I, even, I do, the, even the health systems, you know, you mentioned we were cleaning out the warehouse probably three months ago and we, we trashed a whole bunch of masks that we thought we'll never need these. And sure enough, here we are. But, uh, you know, if you've got a stash of masks sitting somewhere, you know, uh, let people know that and let's coordinate some efforts here. Yeah. So we have a variety of clients uh, from those in healthcare to those in nonprofits. And, and it was kind of hitting me yesterday. We were on a call with one of our nonprofit clients and realizing, you know, they're in, they're in the frontline work of taking care of people and they can use masks and they can use some of that stuff as well. And I think sometimes we're, we're directing our attention to the opposite end of the spectrum and forgetting, you know, our, our police officers need masks, our, our frontline homeless shelter people need masks, our people who are serving food uh, will need those masks. So, you know, figure out how those things are. Right now, they're still available on Amazon um, today. I don't know what that looks like for tomorrow, but April 3rd, they're still available. So anyway, um, yeah, I think that's really what we oh, wanted to do and today. Some of, our, some of the people that have gotten uh, laid off from the hotels are now making masks. <laughs> One of our good yes. friends, Jenny Statler. Jenny Statler, there. yes. Oklahoma she's, City, that's all she puts on Facebook these days is how many masks she's made today. So that's she's great. She's so inspiring. She just inspires me every day. She ran for school board this year. She's um, she's one of those people who works in the hotel industry that loves her clients and loves her people. And and uh, I, I love working with her. She's she's phenomenal. But through this time, I, I uh, she's been teaching her kids to cook and sew and do all this stuff. And it's been really cool to watch. I love that. And uh, I know a lot of you are, are in that same boat doing those same sorts of things. So we'd love to hear from you. Uh, Joe at rumbledrum.com, Todd at rumbledrum.com. Uh, let us know what you're doing in these times and, and uh, either supporting your business, figuring out how to keep moving forward, reinventing yourself, reinventing your work, uh, bringing your gift and abilities to other places. And then also, um, what you're, what you're doing to kill time. Uh, again, I, I think I mentioned the master's class. I've, I uh, did part of that this weekend, thanks to generosity my brother. And, and uh, I hadn't really thought about putting the money and energy into that, but I absolutely love it. It's amazing. I watched a little bit of it this morning and uh, just, it's just a really great resource for any of us and uh, um, good, good stuff there. Oh. So, the other thing I saw uh, on Instagram, uh, Aaron Brown uh, events is doing a, kind of a rebrand of herself and uh, website and everything. And I, it's perfect time to be doing that kind of thing. We're working on redoing our website as well. And, um, you know, kind of working on this podcast thing too. But um, yeah, it's a great time to work on the infrastructure of your business and uh, your branding and look. And uh, we love Aaron Brown events. We worked with her on uh, some events and, uh, love her. She's great, uh, thoughtful lady. So, yeah, she's she's incredible business business person. So, um, all right. Well, we'd love for you to tune in to the Joe and Todd Show. Like us on Instagram, Facebook, all that sort of stuff. Just follow us. Uh, we're hoping that the content we're putting out is helpful to you, and we'd love to have feedback about that as well. Uh, give us some reviews uh, by email. Tell us what you're thinking. If you want to, if you want to do a Google review for Rumble, Rumble Drum, that'd be great. Or Facebook reviews would be nice as well. So anyway, just let us know what you're thinking and uh, uh, love to hear from you. Hang in there. It's going to get better. Take care, guys. Stay well. Stay well.